Hello and welcome to Cruise Control. Now, if you're wondering why I have this fiddly fiddly wiper, it's not just a wiper. That's right, there's an amazing amount of engineering that goes into one of these things. First of all, it's designed to be easily removable by hand in case you have to make a quick swap on the go. Yep, it's even aerodynamically designed. So the faster you go, the more it sticks to your windscreen for a cleaner wipe. There's a metal rail in here that gives it the shape to conform perfectly to the glass that you're trying to wipe. And even the rubber is formulated to work silently. So you imagine all this technology going into your humble wiper. What about the rest of the car? That's what we're going to find out today. But first, on guard. I'll wipe the floor with you. Every car starts life as various pieces of metal joined together. But how you join these pieces of metal together is super important. Spot welding is one of the more economical and quick ways to join metal together. Basically, two pieces of metal are suspended between an electrode and a huge current is applied, kind of like a lightning bolt, and this sticks the two pieces together at a certain point. Basically, spot welding is like buttons on a cardigan. And then there's laser welding. Now, you need to use that when there's high-strength steel involved or when you're aiming for something really neat. That's because laser welding is super precise. It also adds a lot of strength to the car, but at the end of the day, if you're looking for a very fine joint like this one here, well, laser welding can be finer than the point of a ballpoint pen. It also kind of makes the Volkswagen factory sound a little bit like a scene from Star Wars. Now, if spot welding is like buttons on a shirt, then laser welding is kind of like the zipper on a jacket. It's robust, it's incredibly neat, and it looks sharp. Well, most of the time. All the time. Most of the time. All the time. Sometimes. All the time. Once in a while. All the time. Okay, all this talk of lasers and welding is very cool and high-tech, but when you're standing in a showroom and you can't see the welds, how do you judge quality? Yeah, you're right. It is tough to see welds, but something you can use the naked eye to spot are the panel gaps. Right. If you want, you can go crazy with a ruler ah. and kind of measure each one. And you're looking for a tight gap as possible, and you're looking for consistency. Right. So the more even the gaps, the better. Okay, but if you, even if you did have your ruler handy, doesn't that just mean that the design and engineering team had their Oompa Loompas tighten up the whole car and make sure that the caps are straight? Well, no, I mean, think about it this way. A car is like a jigsaw puzzle, right? A moving jigsaw puzzle with all these pieces of metal. Now, getting them to align perfectly is just not easy. And if you can do a car that, that does have all these gaps as nice and even, nice and tight, and everything straight, it is a sign of a car maker that puts its cars together with a lot of care and a lot of precision. We have a shoulder line here that stretches the entire length of the car. Four panels, very wide panels as well, but it's more or less straight. That's right. Now, that wasn't easy to get it perfectly straight like that. And to see that, you didn't even need a ruler. Hmm, that's right. So we've seen how the way you join two pieces of metal together is a fundamental aspect in determining the quality of a car. That's right. It really does affect everything, from the way a car feels on the road to how well it ages, and even how quiet it is. So here we are on the Gulf, and see when I close the door, how quiet everything gets. Ooh. And that's because of features like the double sealed door, as well as the acoustic windscreen, which is laminated to prevent sound from entering the cabin. Yeah, 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 but forget about all that. Okay, if you, you really want to see yeah. how well this car's put together, let's tear it apart. Okay. So I've got a screwdriver here. Let's see what should we take off first. But well, we need to find a screw head. Actually, I don't actually see anything no. that I can unscrew with this. Well, I Maybe. guess we have to skip that one and go for a drive directly. I see a screwball, but yeah, okay, let's go for a drive. And see. I'm the nut behind the wheel. Okay, you know what, Darren? I have to say, this car is pretty quiet. It is pretty quiet. Very impressed. But uh, isn't that just a matter of having a really quiet engine? No, the quiet engine is just half the battle. I mean, okay. he, he, well, <laughs> even with um, a quiet engine, you have things like road noise, tire noise coming into the cabin. And that's where we have things that, like what we mentioned just now, the acoustic windscreen, right. uh, double seals, uh -huh. uh, insulation, and that makes for a really quiet cabin. Okay. And what, what I really like about, oh, that guy's going fast, I didn't hear it, um, <laughs> about a quiet cabin. <laughs> is that it's not just you as a driver who enjoys it, but the entire family is enjoying, uh, can enjoy a quiet cabin. People right. in the back, you know, after a while they fall asleep, as long as you don't do anything naughty. 
Right. So what you're saying is, if you want to make a baby in the bag, yeah. you, you won't be sort of interrupted by outside noises. Yeah, that's true. Hey, check out the panel gaps on this one. <laughs> well, I'm not really an expert, but I don't think they tried too hard with this one. Yeah, well, at least we found out today about techniques like laser welding that go into the building of real quality cars. Yeah, and it really seems like what uh, affects the quality of a car is not even the job that they do at the factory or the components they use. Yeah. It seems like you have to have the quality built in from the beginning. That's right. And it's all about attention to detail. Mm, and these things do show in, in right in the showroom and you can point them out, pick them up yourself. Yeah, and uh, somehow I don't think this one is from the real factory. So you can have it back. Okay. <laughs>